This is Jim Ingersoll, and it's nice to have you along with me. I'm going to show you how to find some um, leads online uh, for people that need to sell their house and they're motivated to do so. By looking online and finding those people that are for sale by owners, um, it's pretty easy to do. First, you go to your local area where you live and uh, go to Craigslist, of course, because Craigslist is a uh, real estate investor's um, friend, of course. And all you do is you go here to real estate for sale. And uh, when this comes up, you've got a couple different ways to look. You can look as a list. This is a listing of all the houses. You can look as a thumbnail or you can look as a gallery. Um, I sort of like using the gallery because I can quickly see the picture um, that I'm looking for and it works pretty well. Now from there, um, this is all of the houses in Richmond, Virginia where I live that are on Craigslist right now. So this includes all the houses by realtors and by for sale by owners. What I want to do is narrow my search down to only the people that are for sale by owners. So all you do, each of these up here are boxes that you can click in and um, you can, when it's working right here on my computer, um, there we go. Uh, you can do this one right here. It's called real estate by owner. Do you see it right there? So all you do is um, click real estate by owner and then you've got every house in our local area, wherever it is you live, that is uh, for sale by owner, okay? And, there's, and what I'm looking for are sort of the, the junkers in most cases. But let's just take this one. It says, willing to work with a buyer's agent, okay? This is a two-bed, uh, one-bath house, 768 square feet. It was built in 2003, great condition, needs $8,000 for cosmetics, and I'm letting it go for 55 k um, from there, there this ad uh, wasn't um, very well done. There's no uh, phone number or anything, uh, but you can just hit reply up here. And oh, there's the phone number, and then call them on the phone or click on the email link, and you'll see it that way. See it right there, 804-424-1311, or click uh, email and send them an email. Ask um, some information about their house. Now um, let's take a look at a couple other ones here. Um, Let's see if we see anything pretty interesting and I will go down just a little ways here <clears throat> again I'm looking for houses that are likely uh, need some level of work there's some uh, mobile homes here see there's a double wide and there's a, a two-bed uh, mobile home again I don't mind buying mobile homes um, but I've got to have the land with them I don't want them in a park that's the way I invest um, and again, you just sort of keep on going down here. Here's a four bedroom rancher in the city of Richmond. It's on a corner lot, Central AC, $85,000. So that's uh, one I would follow up on and uh, see, see what they've got going here. Again, just click on reply. Um, one of the things I notice when I click on reply for this one is it's an out of area phone number. Area code is 904, unless they mistyped it, and it should have been 804. So that could be a really solid lead. So that's one of the things you can do in uh, Craigslist. The other thing I like to do in Craigslist is call people that are renting houses and see if I can find um, a motivated landlord who's sick of renting his house. Now, when you're doing this kind of a search, you don't want to come up with uh, property management companies. You don't want to come up with real estate companies. You really want to search for mom and pop type um, landlord. So I'm going to look down through here a little bit. Um, here's one, maybe. Great townhouse, great area, ready now. Silver Fox Lane. Uh, I know some people that own some property over there, like my brother Dave. Um, again, this is with a broker, so I would leave that one alone and keep on searching here. <clears throat> And uh, until I find really the, the right one, here's a townhouse in Hopewell. Let's see what this one looks like. Again, you're looking for stuff that is not with a realtor. So this might be a good one. There's the, uh, the information there. <clears throat> um, and just keep on going until you find something that looks good. I'm really looking for single family houses owned directly from the um, owner. I really want uh, landlord, the landlord that owns it. This one looks good as well. This one's in Colonial Heights down towards um, 
um, Fort Lee and Petersburg down that way where we live. Here's one uh, that looks good as well. It's a three bedroom uh, near MCV in Richmond. Again, I'm looking for opportunities. A guy named Corey, it's not a realtor. This is a really good lead. You can call him up and say, hey, Corey, um, I see you're renting your house here. Um, would you be interested in selling it instead of renting it? And I'll tell you, this Corey lead right here is a good one. You see why? He lives down in South Carolina, down near Charleston or Myrtle Beach. He's got an 843 uh, area code. So somebody needs to call him, 843-697-4671 and say, hey, Corey, I see you've got this house in Richmond, Virginia that you're looking to rent. And I'm wondering um, if you would want to sell it instead of renting it. And just see what he says and then continue on down. I would encourage you to find about 10 of these. Here's one in North Henrico on West Royce Road. I know exactly where this road is. I like it a lot. I would be happy to buy this house. Uh, but this one's with uh, with a realtor um, or property management company. Now, sometimes you can, you can find a property manager who's managing houses and they'll give you referrals um, of people they know that, that would like to sell. They're tired of uh, renting. And uh, you might get a whole package of houses, say five or 10. That's the other thing with these um, rental leads is that uh, when you talk to the owner, if they don't want to sell that one that you're looking at, ask them if they would be interested in selling one of their other houses. Oftentimes, people that are renting houses um, by themselves, like individual people, um, will uh, have more than one house. And you may end up being able to for find four or five houses that we can buy really quickly, really easily that way. All right, so that's how you go about finding houses um, that you may be able to rent. Uh, people that are renting houses and um, looking to sell them instead of renting them. All right, what else can we do? We can go to this site. <clears throat> this one's called owners.com. And uh, I shortcutted this just a little here. Um, here it is, owners.com. All you do is you type in your city, like I'm in uh, Richmond, Virginia here, and um, click on find a home, put in a zip code, and uh, it'll search. It'll search for houses in that zip code. I just picked one of the zip codes in our area. And here's a whole bunch of houses um, all over the Richmond area. And these are all houses owned by individual people um, that may be good deals for us to buy. I don't know. You've got to call them, each of them individually, and ask them. So that's how you do it with owners.com. Here's another site. It's called for sale by owner.com and again you could just type in your city wherever you're at Richmond Virginia here um, for instance oh, I typed on the wrong side that's for people looking to sell here's the houses for sale Richmond Virginia and there we go <clears throat> see what they've got on this site here's a whole bunch of houses again these are all houses owned by individual people not through realtors um, throughout the Richmond area that, that are really looking to sell and you can you can uh, you know put in different things as far as um, searches and such through this area as well uh, but really we're looking for cheaper houses so all of these are five six hundred thousand these aren't going to be interesting to us um, but you may be able to find a couple in here that you can call and just kind of get an idea for what they're what they're looking to do and what they're looking to get for their house. Another one is Zillow.com, of course. So you, again, you could just uh, you could type in um, Richmond, Virginia, or Chesterfield, or Henrico, or wherever you're at in the country, and uh, you're going to get all of these different houses. These are uh, both for sale by owner and um, for sale by realtors. Okay, and the red dots are the for sale by owners, and I believe the blue ones are realtors. But you can see on the right here, I got it searching by the cheapest house. Cheapest houses in the city of Richmond for sale by owner. These are all good leads. All of these could be called and uh, see what their deal is and what they're looking to get. Um, some of them are called make me moves. Some of them are called for sale by owner. And what you want to do is call them up and feel them out. And you're looking for somebody who really wants to sell fast. And they're willing to trade some of their equity in the house for a fast sale, as is no commission. Um, cash transaction that we can close on in a couple of weeks if they want they give us a good deal and again you can uh, you can search this uh, by different types of listing I've got this one right now is by owner um, and by make me move that's the categories I've got and you're gonna need to put those in there so in the search box type Richmond Virginia 
or wherever you're at. <clears throat> Let's say uh, you're in Colonial Heights, Virginia, and you can do the same thing, just like that. <clears throat> see what comes up. Here's some houses in Colonial Heights sorted by the cheapest to the highest. And uh, we can just kind of find out if any of them are good deals for us to buy, and uh, particularly if they're vacant and need some work. That's typically what we're buying. All right, a fourth site for you. One, two, three. This is the fifth site. We had Craigslist, Owners.com, for sale by Owner.com, Zillow, and now we're on to Homes by Owner. Dot com. Write that down, homesbyowner.com. Again, I've got this uh, up here for Richmond, Virginia, and uh, you can see here there's a whole bunch of houses um, that are um, for sale by owner. Now, you want to, this search, this is currently going from the most expensive to the least expensive, I think. So, you're going to want to go to like page 10 here um, to find the cheaper houses that we're looking for. <clears throat> And now we're down to the 200,000 range. You actually got to get cheaper than that. So you got to keep on going. But there's more. There's more pages. There's tons of houses on this website. So again, go to homesbyowner.com and uh, just give, give some of these folks a call. Go to the cheapest ones that you can find down here first. Those are most likely the ones that we're going to be interested in buying and can get it a good deal. Now we're getting there. 22,000. That's in Churchill. Let's see what else we have coming up here. <clears throat> Again, this one is www.homesbyowner.com. Here's one on Lafayette Avenue and Colonial Heights again, um, and so on. You can see all these houses. And when you click on them, like here, you should get uh, this site, by the way, pulls from other sites. So this one was on a site called oodle.com in the classified. See that? So you may want to check oodle as well. It's a three bedroom, two bath house, 1,200 feet. And uh, you can get the, the owner's information clicking through on the link. So Craigslist, owners.com, uh, for sale by owner.com, Zillow, and homes by owner.com. You could also use your classifieds on the Sunday paper. Uh, but get out there and start talking to people about their houses and try to find somebody who's motivated to sell really fast and uh, maybe a house that needs some work that's been vacant a while or some tenants trashed up and they're sick and tired of it and want to get out. We're looking for people that are motivated to get out quick, looking for fast sale, one to two, three, four weeks, that's it. And uh, again, I'm Jim Ingersoll. I hope this was a lot of help to you. Go out there, find some houses, find some sellers, make some deals, and make some money.